Saturday park run day. Just doing a bit of a warm up. Doing my nippy park run today, or as I call it, the lollipop run. So you run out two laps of a lake and then back to the start finish. Really fortunate where we live, we can pick six or seven park runs which are within about 20 25 minutes of home so just trying to squeeze in a couple of k before we start just doing it on the grass and then you can just see there the footpath that we use it's like that all the way for this course a little rise around the lake but overall it's a pretty quick course I'd say probably one of the quickest in Brisbane Stay Mark, set, go! So now you've popped the right one, yes. Right. Now done. Just doing a little cool down after that. A lot of filming this morning. So the heart rate was all over the place. A lot of stopping and starting. The best thing, that was the best the knee has felt since I broke my toe. All through that Gold Coast 50 preparation was really gnarly the low mileage and a little bit less frequency and a lot of running on this stuff is really doing the trick just keep doing what I'm doing and uh, hopefully this knee will keep on improving so I'll just finish off this K and we're we'll going to have some coffee Consistency, 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 consistency. Consistency? Yeah. I believe this is one of the most important things when it comes to running, guys. Consistency. If you are a new runner, you need that consistency to build fitness, improve your aerobic capacity, and to build good habits to allow the body to get used to this new form of exercise. Whether you run a couple of times a week or more often in those early days, you just have to be consistent. If you want to meet your goals, you might want to get healthier, fitter, or run a 5K non-stop, or even greater goals like run a marathon. You are going to need to be consistent. Likewise, if you're an experienced or more regular runner, you need consistency to improve. Have that capacity to tackle harder sessions, longer runs, or to meet goals which you may have set as part of your training block or plan. And this brings me to my number one goal for this year, 2021, consistency. I've had three years of interrupted running, whether it was injury, mishaps, or even some health concerns. 
So in 2021, I just wanna have 12 months of consistent running. And to achieve this, I'm going to keep my mileage or my weekly mileage really low. Now in the past, I've churned out weeks on end of 100K plus or I've said 60 mile plus weeks. And I feel this is when I have run my best. But even with the hiccups I had in 2020, I still clocked up more than 4,500 kilometers for the year. What's that, about 2,800 miles, guys? So it's gonna be really interesting to see where I can get to running a lower mileage. Now, this brings me to my second goal for 2021, improving my 5K and 10K times from last year. So that's beating 18.59 for the 5K and 38.38 for the 10K. That's the main aim. The dream goal would be to run PVs for 5K, a sub 18 minutes, and to go sub 38 for 10K. But let's be honest guys, hitting PVs as you get older, I'm 55 this year, it gets harder and harder every year, but that doesn't mean you stop trying. So I'm all in. Like I said, I run best on high mileage weeks, or I have in the past, so I'm gonna be really interested to see where I get to running this lower mileage. Can I hit those times on less numbers? Only time's going to tell. I know one thing, my legs are gonna be a hell of a lot fresher. Now, I've picked out four races in the first half of the year to target, two over five kilometers and two over 10 kilometers. And I'm going to conduct a little experiment in these two training blocks and during the first six months of 2021 to get to those four races. I'm going to pit the Mapperton method up against the 80-20 method. Okay, so the Mapperton method is based on pure heart rate. Staying in that math heart rate zone for all running. While the 80-20 method is 80% easy running and 20% higher intensity running in your training program. Now, I'll go into the specifics of the training blocks in the next video, guys. But basically, I'm using the Mapperton method now for the first training block, leading up to those five and 10 kilometer races in March and April. And then I'm going to switch over to the 80-20 method for the next training block to five and 10 kilometer races in June and July. So the two training blocks will be of similar length, around about 10 or 11 weeks. I'm gonna be really interested to see what works, the Mapperton or the 80-20, to get those quicker times. What do you reckon guys? Will it be the math method or will it be the 80-20 method that delivers the best result? Let me know in the comments below what you think. And later in the year guys, we might come back to these comments and just see who was on the money. I haven't set any running goals for the second half of 2021 because I'm not sure if I will extend my mileage to taking any longer races. I need to be mindful of this knee as I recover from the bruised patella. So it's low mileage for as long as it takes. I really do doubt that I'll get to a marathon in 2021. Now, my other goal for 2021 concerns this channel. The channel saw some great growth in 2020 and I'm going to keep working really hard to keep that momentum going. So this year, I wanna double the number of subscribers to the channel. We started 2021 sitting at 1,250 subscribers. So by December 31, I'm hoping that that figure will be 2,500. But that's up to you guys. And you have been great supporting me and the channel up to now, and I really appreciate that. But to grow the channel further, I need your help to spread the word. So if you watch a video and you enjoy it, please share it with your running friends and help promote the channel to a wider audience. So there you go, guys, my goals for 2021. I've kept them simple and I haven't included too many. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your goals are for this year. I'd be really interested to know what you've got planned for 2021. Okay, so that's it, guys. Let's crack on and crush these goals, yours and mine. Thanks for watching, and remember, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I really appreciate it.
six and a half on the grass here. Uh, had math levels sticking to that 180. <sighs> so try that again. Sticking to that 130 to 135 beats per minute. I don't know what it is, guys, but uh, on certain parts of this grassy loop today, my heart rate just spiked. Now, it was the same spot on every lap. And I did about eight or ten laps here around this oval. And that spot just over there, just coming around that corner, every lap my heart rate would spike five to eight beats. And by the time I got back down to sort of this corner here, it was back in the normal range. That's just really weird. I've got no explanation for that whatsoever. Guys, if you had anything happen to you like that, or you know why it happens, let me know in the comments because I got no idea. But overall, really happy with that. Knees really good. Last couple of days have been really good with the knee. Hit 43k this week, spot on. Uh, longest run was, I think, about a little 10k. Legs are feeling really fresh. Way old mileage is agreeing with me. Yeah, just feel like there's a bit of pep in the stride. There we go, guys. Another busy week. As usual, thanks very much if you've made it all the way through to the end of this video. Really do appreciate it. Uh, I'll sign off now. Until next time, stay safe, happy running, and I'll catch you in the next video. Hooroo!